Hi, this is Mike Haber. Thanks for asking me, what is spoliation of evidence? Get ready for an ugly definition. Spoliation of evidence is a cause of action where a person who is not a party to an existing civil case causes damage to a plaintiff when evidence, which is critical to the case, is lost, misplaced, or destroyed. If that sounds complicated, it's because it is. And I don't care about civil cases. We're here to talk about its application in the criminal realm. In criminal court, the state bears the burden of proving each and every case beyond a reasonable doubt by admitting competent substantial evidence. The defense has a right, an obligation actually, to inspect and to challenge all of the state's evidence. But it also enjoys the liberty of conducting its own defense investigation and attempting to secure its own defense evidence. When it comes to inspecting government evidence, that's generally a simple task. All we usually need to do is to put the state attorney on notice, and then it gets done. But securing defense evidence proves to be far more complicated in most instances. Why is this so? Simply stated, the government has unlimited resources, whereas the defense generally does not. Unlike prosecutors, defense lawyers don't have battalions of cops, limitless tools, and investigative subpoena power. Also unlike prosecutors, criminal defense attorneys need permission to issue a subpoena ducis tecum. That's a subpoena that seeks the production of a tangible item of potential evidence. Let's take an example. Say I want to secure and review the surveillance video or a ring doorbell video. Now I can send my investigator out to a business or to a private residence and we can ask for access, but we have no legal authority to compel it. And especially when it comes to businesses, we're oftentimes denied. So what do I do? Knowing that surveillance systems tend to overwrite themselves after a period of time, and also the time is of the essence, I write and I formally serve the business, individual, or even a municipality with what's known as a spoliation letter. A spoliation letter is a written demand which identifies the precise date, time, location, and span of the information that I'm seeking, and which puts whomever on formal written notice that if they do not preserve that identified material, then they may be subject to both a civil lawsuit and or to sanctions by a criminal court judge. In an abundance of caution, it's my practice to send a copy of these spoliation letters to the state attorney's office, as well as to file them with the court as further proof of my efforts and intent. If the identified evidence is destroyed, altered, or not preserved, then depending upon the nature, its relevance, and the diligence of your lawyer, there may or may not be a remedy. Like all things in court, that's going to be entirely up to your judge. With that said, I thank you for your question. I appreciate your having asked it. Please remember that at Haber PA, it's all about reasonable doubt. And if you like this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. We'll be putting out more soon.